Hey y'all, hey, today's video is a bedroom clean with me and I am going to be giving you guys an overview of all the bedrooms that I have in my house. We do live in a three bedroom home and right now I'm just showing you the, the effects of um, <laughs> just not getting myself together ASAP in the morning. But um, some rooms are worse than others. You're not going to see me clean in the order that you are viewing right now, but needless to say, they all need to be a little um touched and have some love shown to them especially some dusting and things of that sort so if you're interested in seeing me clean and it's gonna get you motivated to start your day then keep on watching Okay, so the first room that I'm starting in is going to be Lucas's room. And right now I'm just pulling back his sheets just to give him a refresher with this body mist that I actually use as a pillow spray. And I'm going to be using this throughout the video as well. But um, I actually changed his sheets the middle of last week. And I just want to know down in the comments, how often do you change your family's um, bedding? Because I try to get it done once a week if not my latest will be two weeks and even then i'm a little bit like oh god i slept in this bed for two weeks and i didn't change my sheets but anyway i'm just really curious to know like am i just being a little anal about that or is that what everybody else is doing just let me know down below I usually let Lucas make his own bed, but y'all, it would have been a hot mess. And I'm just letting you guys know if anyone is curious what Logan was doing at the time. I do have her in her to go little pack and play. Um, it's so cute. And anything that you see in the video that pertains to Logan is probably in my description box under Logan's stuff. So make sure you check in there as well but um right now i'm just moving on to putting lucas's toys where they belong and i'm gonna straighten up and organize his books again and yeah i'm just gonna start picking up things off the floor and keep it going for anyone that is new here as i have seen my subscriber Count grow just a little bit thank you so much for seeing something in me and um, generously clicking that subscribe button but anyway my name is Denise I am a stay-at-home mom of two and I have content for any old thing I'm trying to stay on schedule Mondays and Wednesdays is my cleaning organizing decluttering videos and Friday is my casual Friday videos where you see like day in the life just any old casual thing cooking whatever that's not going to be a voiceover included because y'all don't even know i actually hate doing voiceovers like <laughs> i just hate it but anyway i'm moving on to cleaning lucas's um nightstand or his dresser my bad his dresser and i'm just using a dusting uh spray it's not even a brand name is i just got it from the dollar general and it's in scent lemon but i really thought that um a furniture spray would be better than an all-purpose spray in this case because I thought they would help repel the dust a little bit longer and yeah so that's why I'm opting for that this time I am going to be dusting my doors and wiping everything off as much as possible as as for what I can remember because the only reason why it's coming to my brain as something that I should be doing on the regular is my friend Ro Smith. If you have not seen her channel then you are missing out. She is a complete, she's just fun. She's, she's always saying something in her videos that just warms my spirit and makes me smile. I'm definitely going to have her channel linked in my description box this is not a collaboration but i just had to get it out there that she is so funny and she reminded me to wipe my doors down so that's what i did and um i'm also going to be using a carpet powder in this video but i'm not going to be using it in logan's room and i'll talk a little bit about that later but this is the brand that i like to use and it's really inexpensive i always get it from the dollar tree and duh it's a dollar and it smells good so you can't beat that
and here's just a little bit of laundry motivation for you guys i do have a little technique of how i fold my kids clothes or lucas's clothes and um mine and sugarfoot um shirts and things like that i fold them all the same way i have not figured out how i can fold logan's in a cute little way but i do have a more detailed video and i'll have that linked in the cards for you guys if you want to close up view of what it is that i'm doing right here but um i just try to keep his clothes as organized as possible because as you've seen his dresser is kind of small and i'm trying to make that last for another year or so before i upgrade into something bigger as he grows Vacuum is the last thing that I'm going to be doing in this space before I show you guys the final reveal and then we're going to move on to Logan's room. So Logan's room isn't all that bad. I'm just going to be decluttering this little area right here. A lot of those boxes are empty or they're either filled with clothes that she can no longer fit. And I just want to hold on to them because, you know, maybe I may use my uterus again and have another baby. Or maybe I have a subscriber that has seen some cute outfits of hers and they would like me to think about sharing her clothes or just donating them i don't know what i'm gonna do yet so that's why i stuck them in the closet and i don't have a whole lot to do in this room because it's not really getting utilized that much because coronavirus is still in full effect and we're not having visitors like that but i, I still wanted to keep this bed in here because occasionally we do have um luke's or sugarfoot's parents come to visit us and things like that so as far as the cleaning, I'm just dusting in here, wiping the doors down. I'm going to dust her dresser, nightstand, and I'm also going to be wiping her crib down with a dry microfiber cloth. I'm not going to be using a whole lot of harsh chemicals in this space. I'm just going to be using the Mrs. Myers um, apple cider spray in here. And um, I'm not even going to use the carpet powder on the floor because I don't want it to be too fragrant in her in here for her because she is going to be due to take a nap really soon in this clip here and i just didn't want her to be overwhelmed by any sense so yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing in here and i'm also gonna be folding some of her clothes and that'll be all i have to do in vacuum I just want to let you guys know that Logan has been sleeping in her crib for about two and a half weeks now faithfully and it has been a game changer for my life and my my brain um, because your girl needed a break. Um, so I sleep better at night and I know she does because I use the nested bean sleep sack and y'all I finally 
well she's big enough now that I have um flipped it over so that the nested bean part is actually on her back because she likes to sleep on her stomach now so if you are trying to sleep train your baby just make sure that you are like investigating and just taking um, stock of everything that you read as far as uh, reviews and things like that the nested bean is legit I also have that in my description box so um, yeah if you're in the same boat as I was and you're trying to sleep train your baby I would highly um, recommend the nested bean sleep sack. So I'm gonna dive, dive into you. It doesn't even make sense why we try to fight it. Every time that we touch, the room caught on fire. We could blame it on the wine, but we know that we would both be lying. I wish I did. Be caught up in the middle like this But I'm gonna die, die Okay, so we are in my room now And um, right now I'm just picking up some things And I just want to say that I apologize for the lighting in here I had to step out um, with the kids and do some adulting I had some things to do, some errands to run And when I left it was sunshine and, and smiles and giggles And when I came back it was cloudy with a chance of meatballs it was like the sky was falling down and it got darker than I expected but I didn't want to quit filming I just wanted to push through and get it done so if the lighting is horrible um my apologies but anyway moving on to the video I am decluttering my nightstand I'm a huge snacker in bed so there's always crumbs and stuff I'm waking up with sunflower seeds stuck to my face <laughs> it's a hot mess I'm going to try to eliminate that habit from my nighttime routine no more snacking in bed but anyway my nightstand needed um decluttering i'm gonna wipe down everything with the spray i'm going to make my bed vacuum i think that's all that i'm gonna get accomplished in this video because i was actually extremely tired but yep i'm keeping it going on someone in denial because you want down bills right now you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And I said See it in your mind Trust I'm taking Logan out of this playpen because I was going to use the carpet um powder in here and I didn't want her to be inhaling it so I'm going to put her back in her to go playpen or whatever so that I can do that and, and then I won't feel like she's being harmed in any way but I also just want to say that when I make my bed is if you've seen my Christmas um, master bedroom clean with me these are the same uh, articles of bedding that you're gonna see because I have not switched out anything for the new year I actually still like the way it looks it hasn't been on my bed that long I mean we're still in winter my um, little accent pillow was a reindeer it's super cute you're gonna see it in just a few minutes or whatever but have you guys already redecorated your master bedroom for the new year or are you still holding on to Christmas decor let me know in the comments I'm just curious to know how often do you change the look of your master bedroom
Okay guys, so we are finally wrapping this thing up. I really do hope that it motivated you to get your bedrooms cleaned, even if you make your bed every day, but you just never get to do anything like dusting, wiping down surfaces, anything like that. I hope that this motivated you to take some time out and get that done. Um, if you are new here and you just now finding us, oh my God, thank you so much for sticking to the end. Um, I really appreciate it. it. It helps my channel grow so much. And if you enjoyed it, please give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.